Howdy, horror fans. Welcome to the fourth, count them, one, two, three, fourth episode of What the Fuck Did Sir Sturdy Just Watch? <laughs> you got to tune in to find out. What's up, people? Here with episode four, Sir Sturdy in the Flesh. What the fuck does Sir Sturdy just watch? Right here. <laughs> the dark side of the womb. Helen Keller versus Night Wolves. And Clowntergeist. I will tell you this, right off the bat, this motherfucker here was the worst fucking movie I've seen all day. It was so tough for me to watch, I got about 30 minutes in and said, fuck this shit, and turned it off. So yes, that's my feelings for this movie. Again, if you want a rating and all that good shit, and you want to do it with me, a podcast with me, we can, because I'll do a podcast in any horror movie and rate any horror movie. But, um, and I'm gonna be honest about these movies as well. But yeah, this movie, it was bad, man. And again, which you know what? If I mention this movie, I'm gonna put it right on the fucking clown's nose if I remember. Blood Lake. Again, Blood Lake from 87. Yes, that's gonna go on that nose. I feel that that movie was taken more serious, it's supposed to be taken more serious. That's why it's so much worse than. It's probably still the worst horror movie I've ever seen. This is bad, though, but I feel this movie is not supposed to be taken serious. It's supposed to be good. It's supposed to be just cheesy fun, but this wasn't even fun for me. It just... I couldn't do it, man. I just couldn't. I tried. Again, I got a half hour in, but if I was doing it for a podcast, I would finish it. See, the What the Fuck the Thirst 30 Watch segment, and I don't require myself to watch, to finish a movie. I'll tell you what I've thought of the movie from what I've seen from the movie. I won't rate it. Again, I know I keep saying that. And I'll tell you what I think about the cover. So, really quick. This was the worst fucking movie I watched today. I couldn't finish it. It just... No, no thanks. No thanks. Um, watch at your own risk with this one. There's a definite watch at your own risk. It's not Search 30 approved. I don't recommend it, but I will never tell you not to watch a horror movie. I try not to do that. Watch it at your own risk. Now, right here. Helen Keller versus the Night Wolves. This was way better than this. I almost turned it off within the first seven minutes, though. But I decided to let it rock. And I've ended up finishing the movie. It was up and down ish. Uh, it was okay. I mean, again, it was better than this bullshit over here, but it still wasn't like, holy shit, I gotta watch this again. Like, this movie and this movie, I, these two movies, I would never watch again unless I was doing a podcast on them. I'll say that right now. If I had to choose, it would definitely be this to watch, but no, these movies were so fucking just. Again, this one I finished. So this one is at least for me. Again, for me, Sir Sturdy. It's at least watchable one fucking time when you're doing other things. Not really paying attention. It's kind of watching. This one, I... Nah, fuck that. I wouldn't even put it on for background noise. Now, we get to this. This one right here, I actually enjoyed from what I was watching from it, I mean, this movie, I would honestly, this one, I don't want you to confuse this, but this, Clown Trick Ice, I would actually honestly go back and watch it again with Reaper. I think I'll go back and watch that outside of the podcast. This definitely outside the podcast. 
and I would definitely do a review on it. Excuse me. Okay, excuse me. It might be something I'd, I'd jump into to do a review on at some point. And, uh, yeah, this this will definitely be one of those ones that where if you guys request it or not, I would still do a, a full movie review on this and kind of watch it, give you guys my ratings. You know the shit we do. We break down the movie, talk shit about the movie, break it down to our extent, talk shit about the movie, do a random horror and all that good stuff, and then, re- you know, review it. So this definitely, this, yes. <laughs> Now onto the cases. <laughs> now onto the fucking cases, man. Um, which I'm gonna try something a little different. This this one, I'm not gonna. I don't want to like block myself anymore. I think I might just like. Yeah, I mean these two cases. Yes, you can clearly see, but I'll still pull the cases up, maybe on the sides of me or the side or whatever. Anyway, worst case was the worst movie, which is. This motherfucker right here, fucking just, oh, I don't like the movie. I'm not that impressed with the case. I thought the case could have been doper. I mean, it's it's okay, but it's okay at best. That's it. Like, that's it. I just seen the title. As a matter of fact, I Googled, um, I think, cheesy or bad horror movies on Amazon Prime. And I just scrolled through and I found the site. I didn't save the site, of course. And... Two out of three of these popped up. This, I forgot how I found. I know I found it on Prime, but I don't think I found it on that list. But these two, after I seen these two, after I was like, fuck, man. I, 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 I'll I watch shitty movies, but I can't make... Like, I want to watch at least one something decent-ish. Or good. But I say decent-ish. And yeah, this, this cover here, though, I mean, it just... I didn't like the cover. I didn't like the movie. You know, it's back when fucking DMX was talking shit about Drake. He was like, fuck Drake. I don't like him. I don't like his eyebrows. That's how I feel about this movie. I don't like this movie. I don't like this movie's eyebrows. I don't like this movie's content. I just thought this movie was garbage. I thought it sucked. I thought it was boring. It was cheesy. It might have had a couple funny parts from the half hour that I watched. I don't remember. Kind of blocked this whole movie out. So, number three is this shit. And I'm done. Number two, boom. Cover's kind of cool. It's way better than this cover, but it still isn't like, you know, when you guys see it because it's behind me, it still isn't like, holy shit, wow. And I feel if they would have done more with maybe her face, I have to see the rest of the cover. I forgot what it looks like because I'm blocking it. But just something, I don't know. Like, just to make it look creepier, but it's another comedy horror. And it was just, it was okay. This cover was okay. It was definitely better than this one, like I said, but it wasn't the greatest. It was cool. I'll say it was cool. It's okay to cool. Same with the movie. The movie was okay at best. Or eh. Like, mm. But the cover was all right. This, on the other hand, this cover is fucking awesome. This cover is fucking fan-fucking-tastic. Now, I know on, like, the past shows, I've been saying, like, which ones I'd get on shirts. I don't know if I did it for every show, but I will do that for... I'll start try to start remembering to do that from now on. If I were to have a tee or make a tee, this would definitely go on a shirt for me because this is just awesome. This is dope as fucking shit. I think this is an amazing case cover. I wish the movie was as good as this case cover, but the movie was pretty good, in my opinion. Again, I got to rewatch it. But case fucking amazing. Case... If I were to rate the case, definitely 10 out of 10. I'm not going to rate the other cases. I'm not going to rate cases on every episode, but this is one of those cases where I'm just like, this is a fucking amazing case. And, yeah. <laughs> Dope fucking case, man. Dope fucking case. So, we'll see, you know. Maybe, just maybe this will make me come up with another fucking segment. My favorite 10 or 20 cases from this from this series right here we'll see we will see and i'll obviously i'll pick the winners from each one and kind of go from there and just boom 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 i'll figure something out if i do that that's a big if a big if but you know we'll see but yeah so again these three cases you know which one was the best this one by far the other two uh, one sucked, one was okay. Um, 
I'm actually going to wrap this up because I have to go watch, watch Session 9 for a podcast tonight at 8 o'clock Eastern Time. No, it won't be live, and the episode will be out in a couple of weeks, but I'm just letting you guys know what I'm about to do. So with that being said, thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. I hope you enjoy this new segment because I'm enjoying doing this segment. It's getting me to watch a shit ton of fucking horror movies. And that's a big thing right there. Shit. <laughs> like, what's today? Tuesday? Since month? I already watched... I mean, I've had six movies on. I didn't finish one, so I'll say I watched five and a half movies. But it still fucking counts. So I already watched six movies this week. Fuck it. I'm counting that. And tonight's going to be seven. Um. So, yeah. Again, thank you guys for listening. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for sub- subscribing. If you're not subscribed, subscribe. Have your friends, your family... Your enemies, your exes, your neighbors, strangers, co-workers. Tell them to hit that subscribe button. And tell them to join the Horror Source 30 Facebook group where where you and them can share anything and everything horror-related, including your own content, as long as it's horror-related. If it's not horror-related, then bonk! Out of the fucking park. Bye, 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 like in sync. Or was it Backstreet Boys? I don't know. But, uh... Anyway, yeah, so Facebook group, feel free to share anything and everything horror related. Also, join the awesome, fun conversations. Horror Research 30 page is for the podcast, strictly for the podcast. And if I'm when and if I'm doing something that where I'm like out and about horror related, I'll let you guys know, you know, cons and stuff like that. And maybe some other cool content that I can think of later on down the road to kind of update on stuff. So that's Facebook. YouTube, I told you guys, subscribe to that YouTube channel. Give it a subscribe. Oh, and hit that little, little uh, you know, the notification button down there. So hit subscribe, hit the notification. So anytime I drop a video, guess who gets it? You do. Right in your notifications. Bam. So I started to drop the video. Bam. So I started to drop the video. Bam. So I started to drop the video. I got to get on that. I got to watch it. I got to listen. I got to laugh. That's what you're going to get. <sighs> you are Twitch. Horror underscore with underscore sir underscore sturdy. Now, if everything goes as planned, I may be on this Sunday night. Not sure what time yet, because of Memorial Day, I'm off the next, no, sorry, Labor Day, off Labor Day, Monday. So, Sunday night, probably around, I don't even know, maybe 11 o'clock or something. I don't know. Once I know Sunday, maybe I'll make a little post about it. But I'll be on Twitch. And if all goes well with all my setup and I might do a quick test run, I may have this set up so you guys can see this kind of thing. Of course, the game would be the background. And you guys can watch and listen to me playing PS4 with whoever I'm playing with, probably my brother Henry, and get some laughs, some giggles, some hee hee ha in there and all that stuff and just listen to our randomness as we're playing whatever horror game we decide to play. And whoever else wants to join us. Maybe Matt will join us. Who knows? But you'll get some laughs in there, get some entertainment. I highly suggest that. So, yeah, be on the lookout possibly this Sunday. I will let you guys know. Matter of fact, there'll be something I'll post on the page by, I'll say, Saturday. I should know something. But, yeah, so horror underscore with underscore sir underscore sturdy. And then Gmail, if you ever want to get an episode to review a movie and talk some horror or if you want to come on here for an interview if you're in the horror field and you want to come on for an interview and talk some horror as well shoot me an email horror with sir dot sturdy again that's horror with sir dot sturdy at gmail.com one last time for the people in the back horror with sir dot sturdy horror with sir dot sturdy at gmail.com Again, thank you for listening. Thank you for watching. As always, I'll see you in your nightmares. (laughs) I know what you motherfuckers are thinking. That wasn't that much in the bottle. It was like a little less than a shot. Drink some, bitches.